Hello, I'm Sarah from South London Sling Library. Today I'd like to show you how to use the Ergo Baby All Position 360 Baby Carrier without the infant insert with a bigger baby. First I want to show you how you know whether or not your baby is big enough to uh, do without the infant insert. So I've got my carrier on here. I'm going to show you with Sydney. Sydney is a little bit too small for the carrier. So I'm going to hold Sydney in a natural position on my body with their knees up and I'm going to bring the carrier around Sydney's bottom and you can see that it doesn't quite sit in the back of Sydney's uh, knee pit. It's a little bit too far down Sydney's calf on that side and on that side. So really Sydney's a little bit too small for the carrier. You want your baby, if I shift you over Sydney, to be able to sit comfortably with their knee bent on both sides of the carrier. When I shift Sydney over so their knee bends on this side, the carrier comes far too um, far down their lower leg on this side. So Sydney just doesn't fit yet. To sit in this carrier comfortably, Sydney would need at least the cushion from the infant insert, which I can pop under Sydney's bottom roll the carrier around the cushion and Sydney and at that point Sydney is then boosted up out of the bottom of the carrier they can bend their knees happily over the cushion which means that the bottom edge of the carrier isn't forcing their um, leg overextending their legs forcing their lower leg out to a position that's not comfortable for them so Sydney at this side still needs the infant insert or at least the cushion from the infant insert. So for today's demo, we're going to be using a slightly bigger doll. When you're choosing where to put the waistband of your carrier, it's not necessarily going to go around your hips. When you pop your carrier on, you'll find that the Ergo Baby has a really nice bucket seat. This means that your baby doesn't sit here on top of your waistband. Your baby sits just in front of that waistband. So the best way to judge where to put your carrier is to think about where your baby's bottom sits when you hold them in your arms in front of you. So the baby that I'm gonna be using today, Charlie, but Charlie's bottom sits about here on my body. So I've got my waistband a little bit higher than that so that Charlie's bottom sits just in front of the waistband and nicely in that deep bucket seat that the Ergo Baby creates. I have tiny little T-Rex arms and I find it tricky to get my back clip done up on the Ergo Baby. I don't want to have that back clip up here on the back of my neck. I don't find it comfortable being that high up. So what I've done is I've used the runners on this carrier and just slid the back clip down the runners so that it sits around about bra strap height on my body. It's just a little bit more comfortable for me to be a little bit lower. So the thing about it is it is on runners, so play with it, wear it higher, wear it lower, find your sweet spot. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do that clip up in front of me where I can see it. It's about the length so that those straps are about the width of my shoulder blades. If my shoulder blades were closer together, I could tighten that. If I was, had a broader back, I can loosen it, but that's about right for me. The next step I'm gonna take is to fully lengthen my shoulder straps. This is just a really easy way to get the carrier on. What I'd say is if this, this method works for you, when you take your carrier off, get into the habit of closing your back clip and making your shoulder straps nice and long so that next time you need to put your carrier on, you just clip it around your middle and go, you're done, pop baby in. And it's really easy to do if you do that prep beforehand. So now I need my baby. This is Charlie. I'm gonna hold Charlie on my front, encourage them to put their knees up as if I were gonna hold them without a carrier. Then I can just pop my hand under the body panel of the carrier and roll it around Charlie's back like so. That brings my back clip to just here in front of me. And then it's very easy just to lift it over my head. I can then put my arms into the straps, just like putting on a jumper. I can pop Charlie's hands through there as well, because that's generally, at this age, Charlie's gonna want their hands either out through the sides, or if they're a little bit older, they might wanna get a hand out over the top, and that's absolutely fine. 
To then tighten my straps so that I'm secure and I can let go of Charlie, I'm going to hold that webbing at the front of my carrier. I'm going to follow it backwards till I find that little bit of strap that I've left hanging down. I can then pull that down and forwards and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Follow it backwards, find the little bit of strap that's left hanging down, pull that down and forwards to secure my baby. I'm then just going to make sure that my straps are roughly the same length in front of me. If you've got one strap that's really long and one that's short, what it means is this shoulder strap or the long shoulder strap is tighter than the short shoulder strap and it means that the straps on your back will have shifted to one side. You can, to solve that, just loosen one of the straps by finding the clip under your arm, putting your finger or a thumb underneath it and just pushing backwards. That loosens it and then you can tighten the other one, kind of even them up on your back. You want those straps to be roughly, just roughly, excuse me Charlie, you're holding on to it, um, to be roughly the same length in front of you. That's absolutely fine. So that's nice and secure. The safety guidelines in this are exactly the same as in any other sling or baby carrier. The word to remember is ticks. You want the baby to be as tightly held against you as if you were holding them in your arms. So the T stands for tight. You put your hand on the back of the baby's head, little dip forward. You shouldn't feel their body weight pull, again, pull away from you. The I stands for in view. You should be able to see your baby's face without opening any straps or moving any fabric. The C stands for close enough to kiss. The K stands for keeping baby's chin off baby's chest. The easiest way to be sure that the baby's chin is off their chest is to do the ugly double chin manoeuvre and make sure you can see the top half of their face. And as long as you can see from their nose upwards, then you're absolutely fine. The S stands for supported spine. If you put a hand on the baby's back and lightly press, they don't have extra room to kind of uncurl, get closer to you or sit up. To take the carrier off, I can simply support my baby's weight. And because I've moved this strap nice and low on my back, I can then reach it to undo it. Slip my shoulders out and simply peel the carrier from my baby, like that. I hope that helps. If you'd like to borrow any of our slings or carriers, you can find them at southlondonslings.co.uk. Equally, if you'd like a sling library appointment or you need support with infant feeding, you can book an appointment via the website too. If you'd like to support the work that I'm doing on um, YouTube, then I'll put a link down in the description below uh, where you can donate via Buy Me A Coffee. Um, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. Um, if you need me, give me a shout or leave me a comment in the comments below. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.